Hey guys, KJ's here with another video. This is going to be a start to finish on how to make a faux leather bow. I am using my Explorer Air 2 today. Sorry if you guys hear that in the background. I'm working in my basement today and the wash is running. So here I have my three inch stitch bow. To see the size of the bow, to know the sizing of it, you want to ungroup it and look at the bottom part of the bow. So here you can see it's 3.01 inches. So that means the bow is going to be three inches when it is complete. So I do have other videos on how to size, how to slice out, um, how to group, and so forth on my YouTube channel. So if you are unaware of how to you know, size a bow or how to ungroup it, go ahead and check out those other videos on my YouTube channel before watching this one. So here I have a multicolored bow and a single colored bow. We are going to use the same material for this bow, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this one. So you can't see this, but on the right hand side of the screen, you're just going to click the eyeball and it will hide it. So this one I can click ungroup and you can also see here that it's 3.01 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and regroup that. So today I'm actually making a bow for a little girl who lost all of her hair to cancer. Um, it's very unfortunate, so I wanted to do something nice for this family, and I'm gifting them this bow out of surprise. One of her favorite shows is Puppy Dog Pals, so that's what we're working with today. So I don't know if you guys can see that too great, but that is a sheet we're working with. I do have a deep cut blade here that I will be using in my machine. This is the fine point blade. I know a lot of people who use this and it's perfectly fine. I just prefer the deep uh, cut blade a little bit more, so I choose to use that one. We are putting it onto a nylon headband. So you guys, um, you can get these off of my website. This is plain white. And the mat we are using is an off-brand Cricut mat. This is the brand right here. I get these off of Amazon. Um, you can actually see here the outline from another bow. This will happen to your mat. It will happen. Okay. So you guys can see this here. So there is a clear white protective cover on top. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So now I'm going to kind of push you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and hit the make it button. Okay, and I do have it set on custom so it is gonna pop up with a little screen and ask me what um, give me two seconds it's just connecting so I can explain this along the way I'm actually gonna lift you up real quick just to uh, show you guys so over here on the right hand side it says um, faux leather paper thin that is what I'm clicking on and I always change it from default to more so that is what the machine is set on. So now that is all ready to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my mat here. I'm going to take my material. Move the other stuff out of the way. So for this one here, I'm actually going to close this just for a quick second to show you guys. So some people place it straight down. Some people put it... Um, the right side down. It's true preference. It really is up to you. For this instance, um, I've noticed that I used to cut it this way, but it does mess up your mats a lot faster because all the fibers and you know the little fuzzies from the background get stuck to this a lot more than if you just use the front. So I'm going to go ahead and put this straight down. You want to make sure it's lined up nice and evenly. See here, it's all against the white line. And here, it's against the white line. Because if not, if you put it on crooked, it will come out crooked. So that is another thing that you want to make sure here. So this actually only goes over to 8 inches. So I'm going to have to go ahead and um, edit this. I'm sorry for moving you guys around a lot. I do apologize. But I'm going to go ahead and move this down to here. So now you see, I'm going to space out a little bit. So now you see this is where the 8 inches is here. And if you look on the mat, it goes right next to the 8 inches. 
So this is perfect. So this stops at the seven, so there'll be a little bit left over at the end. And you wanna make sure that this goes from left to right or even right to left. If it's upside, if it goes sideways this way or upside down or anything of the sort, it will cut out crooked. So if your material is, I don't have anything down here going side to side, but like I have my um, plaid sheet, you can cut this sideways because it looks the same both directions. So this doesn't really matter. But certain sheets you have to cut in a certain direction or else you'll end up with upside down prints, if that makes any sense. So now we're gonna go ahead back to the machine. So I'm gonna reopen it. So I have this here. Now the one problem I have with this is, which you guys will be able to see here in the video, is that it goes side to side. Um, whereas a Cricut mat, you know, fits perfectly in there. This does not. So you kind of just have to line it up as good as you can. But again, these are so much more better than the Cricut mats in my opinion. I've had this mat going since February and I do nothing but make bows constantly and I've had no problems with having to clean it or anything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna push the arrow. So make sure that you have one hand, um, you guys can't see where my hand is, but guiding the mat into the machine. I'll move my hand up to here to show you, but you wanna just make sure that it guides it up so this way it stays even across the top here. If you do not like how it looks, take it out now, just re-push the arrow. Cause after you hit the C button, that will be it. It'll go into the machine and start cutting, okay? So I just push down everywhere that I can, gently, just to make sure that it's still pushed down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button and let it do its work. Now I know I don't carry this print on the website, but this is the same exact material as all the other patterns and prints on my website. So anything that you get from the buy-ins or anything that you get from the website, they will all be the exact same material in some way, shape, or form. The only ones that are a little bit different are um, Scales, um, Dingle Hopper, and um, Prince Eric, just because they're a little bit more thin. So those ones will not cut like this, but they still will cut on the machine. But all the other prints on the website are pretty similar to one another. So now by doing default, it would only cut this once. Since I hit more for pressure, it does cut out twice. So sometimes it only needs the one time, but sometimes it does need two. So I rather it cut out twice whether it needs it or not. So this way I'm not trying to figure out exactly where my mat was because you're never gonna get it in the exact same spot. So that is it. Super quick. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. And look guys, look how quick and easy that was. Look, that popped right out. So again, you have a little bit of room left over on the side here, but this is it. So super quick, super easy. Go ahead and shut this again. And then when you lift up, you can peel your map back a little bit. With, make sure that you don't peel it back too much or it will crack. And here it is. This is piece one of the bow. I'm gonna move you guys back this way a little bit. Here is piece two. Here is piece three. And the middle piece. So the only problem with putting it upside down, in my opinion, is that you truly cannot see where the pattern is. That's why most people hand cut when it comes to patterns or use their Sizzix because you can get it a little bit more accurate. If you see here, they're only going to really see this part of the dog in the front. So that'll be hidden in the back. Same as this one, you're going to see part of this dog here and it'll kind of go on there like that. But all in all, like I said, it's super easy, cuts out super quick. So here I have my headband, the three pieces, technically four. I have my glue stick and my glue gun. I have to admit that I switched back to this original glue gun. I went and bought other ones, which if you watched my previous videos, you saw that I had a um, 
think it's called Shore Bonder. And I had to return the one. It was terrible. The second one, I don't have an opinion on it yet. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I think I need to use a little bit more. But this one was like $3.99 and it was actually 50% off. I want to say at AC Moore or Michaels. And I have to say, this has been my favorite glue gun so far as I dropped the glue out of it. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and start by gluing these. So I usually glue the biggest piece first. So just one dot of glue in the center. You don't need a ton. Sorry, I just realized it was really bright on the screen, so I just tapped it. I think it made it a little bit darker. You don't need a ton of glue. I think I'm going to need a little bit more than that, but we'll see. Just trying to multitask. So now I'm just going to pinch this together. So now some people do use super glue. I do have super glue here. I usually, um, depends on what kind of bow it is, but at the end, um, lately I've been actually adding a dot of super glue when I fold over the middle piece at the very end, just to secure it a little bit more. So this piece is done. Now I'm going to move to this one. Again, just a dot of glue right in the center. And then you're going to go ahead and, oops, sorry there. There we go. Meet that in the center. This piece wants to lift up. I'm going to meet that one in the center. Be careful, the glue is hot, but my fingers are quite used to it. And you're just going to hold that down for a few seconds. Some people don't hold theirs down, they literally push it and put it to the side. I prefer to hold mine down just for a couple of seconds. Sorry, there's a little piece of glue there. I'm gonna actually move you guys over a little bit more. There we go. So we have our two pieces, back piece, our middle piece, headband, super glue, hot glue. I do keep scissors next to me just in case, but I can't tell you the last time I actually had to use them. Sometimes if the back is really thick, um, you will have to kind of cut a little bit, like the corner will kind of stick, so when you lift it up, it comes off the sheet like this. So I usually just trim that, so this way I'm not ripping it off. But that's really the only time I use scissors, so I do keep them by me just in case, you never know. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the middle piece onto the back here. Again, I do have um, videos on how to assemble bows as well, which goes into a little bit more detail. This one was kind of just to show you a start to finish on how the machine cuts it out. Now, I will admit that the machines do cut out the chunky, but I do not like it. <laughs> I am not a fan. I much rather, um, personally, I just hand cut it. It's so much easier and it saves so much time. I know that the solid sheets that I have on the website do cut out as well. Ooh, that was a little bit much more glue than I want it, but that's okay. I'll just come out of the top and bottom and I can wipe it off. Um, you do have to use, um, sometimes you have to use a different setting. So you will have to play around. It truly depends on your machine. I usually cut the solid um, sheets out on my maker. I can't tell you the last time I used the Explore Air 2 on the solid sheets, but I know that I, that's all I used to use because I only had this machine for quite some time. So I will get back with you guys on which setting I used to use. I do have it saved in here, I just cannot remember for the life of me right this second. So this is what the bow is mainly going to look like. Now we're going to go ahead and put one single dot of glue in the center. You can use super glue or you can use hot glue for this piece. So, um, this is the super glue I use. My hands don't want to work today, guys. <laughs> but I'm actually going to just put a dot of regular regular um, hot glue here. It's coming into a new stick, so it's just going to keep coming out. Like a ton. But I'm going to go ahead and line that up in the center. Now, for the stitch bow, I did realize that I am going to have to modify it a little bit more and make the center piece a little bit bigger. I don't know why it's small. So again, I'm just pushing this down here. 
Now, for the headband, some people glue their headbands on right here. Other people just place it and put this around. I do put a little dot of super glue right here for the headband. It's so much easier to work with because if you glue it on this way, then you're getting it upside down and you're trying to, you know, push this here and it's going to look kind of funny. So you want to make sure that, you know, you can put them on the proper way. So I am going to put a little dot of super glue here. Now you guys can see how little bit just came out and that is why I love the super glue. So here's this. I do not like super glue on my fingers, so I actually spread the bow open here and I stick my finger in the center so it sticks to it without getting on my fingers. I don't know if you guys can see that from there. But it's nice and stuck now. Now some people do open theirs if they have a wide enough bow. As you can see here, if I open mine, it would be way too big for the bow, so I just leave it closed. If anything, they can open it once it's on her head because it still will open everywhere else. So now I'm going to go ahead. So you want to make sure that you do the bottom piece first, putting it over top. So you want to make sure that you go this way with it, which actually before I continue, I might need to make a bigger piece now because it doesn't look like it's going to fit. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make another piece. So it's a good thing I didn't use super glue for this. Whoop. So super glue sticking to that. I am going to peel this back. So this will peel off if you're gentle with it. But it's a little hard to get to use a little bit of pressure. But I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger piece for this so it fits a little bit better. So bear with me, guys. So here I actually have that little piece that's left over on the corner. So this is perfect where the scissors can come in. I can actually cut this off here and cut it here and use this little piece I'll leave that up there so now when you want to make something a little bit bigger I'm gonna drag this down a little so I'm actually gonna ungroup it because the rest of the bow is perfectly fine it's just this piece needs to be a little bit bigger and you can kind of see that here in the bow this fits perfectly so I'm actually gonna go ahead and unlock it and just drag it down which you see I just moved it a little bit more, so I'm actually gonna hit the back button. So I'm gonna unlock it. I want it to be open a little. You know what, let me see what size this is so I can resize the long ways. Okay, so it's .334, so I wanna make sure it stays at the .334, which isn't a problem, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, so there we go. Now I am gonna change the color of this real quick just so this way I can go ahead and hit make it and then this way it's on a different sheet so I don't have to worry about the whole bow recutting out. I'm going to move this stuff over real quick and now you'll be able to see once again so I hit the faux leather paper thin, I hit more and the machine is ready to go. Whoops as I just hit the arrow instead of the open button on the machine. <laughs> brain fart today. Alright, so I'm going to just hit the arrow again and it'll just reverse it. Go ahead and put this on. So again, small square. I'm going to put it right in. Hit the arrow. And you can just push it back down again. And hit the C that's flashing and this will cut out super quick. And that's it guys, super quick. Oh, and it looks like I didn't put it on the right way, but that's okay, because we're not gonna need that big of a piece. And here it is. Okay, I'm gonna bring you back over here. Close this again. Now this is gonna be a little bit big this time, so I probably could go ahead and trim some of it away, but might actually be perfect to be honest. Yeah, it actually looks like it's gonna be perfect. Now if I, it was supposed to cut out a teeny tiny bit more, so I probably would have had to cut it then, but 
So it's a good thing it kind of cut crooked on the bottom since it ran out, but again, that's gonna be hidden, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this. Sorry, my glue gun was sitting on its side, so there was a ton of glue on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead, second time, and put a line of glue straight through the center of the bow. Would help if I had the glue in it. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry, bear with me today. It's been a long day. And now, new stick doesn't want to work. There we go. All right, so we put this right over top. Let it dry. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean this little bit of glue up here. All right. So now usually I will cut out a few bows, but I don't need multiple this one right now. So I'm actually gonna leave it alone because then this way I can go ahead if someone says, like they say, hey, I like this um, print, can you make me a bow? Then I have it on the side because not everybody likes the same pattern. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a line of glue here and I'm gonna pull it over top as tightly as possible. So it's gonna be like this. So just one line of glue here. And one. All right. And you're gonna just go ahead and push this up. And you are gonna get a little bit of glue popping out of the top. Again, it's gonna be hot, so I don't recommend you doing what I just did, but my fingers are used to the glue. So I'm gonna pinch this, make sure it's the way I want it. Again, with the headbands, it's a little bit harder because, you know, they move a lot more than a clip does, and you don't secure it all the way across the bow like this. You only secure it here. Now, some people do put it all the way across. I don't like that because then when you put the bow on, it smushes it against your head. It doesn't kind of set up and give it a little bit of volume. So, personal preference, but I'm not a fan. So, this last piece here, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the super glue. Here, and I'm just gonna put a line of glue straight across this way so I'm actually gonna put it down but like I said this comes out I don't know if you can see the tip of it but it's very 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 tiny sometimes I only push one side versus both again I don't like the feeling of super glue so I use as little as possible anyways but you're just gonna push that over and hold it down. So as you can see, a little bit popped out of the top. If you don't wanna to touch it, I have the little scrap piece here. I can actually go right ahead and go across it and kinda of just wipe it off. This stuff dries super quick, so keep that in mind. Like that was our, it just came off in a, and it's pretty hard already. So here you guys go. This is the finished product. If you guys use the E6000 super glue, it does take 24 hours to dry, so keep that in mind. This stuff takes seconds. Um, I use the spray Loctite on all my tumblers and everything, and it works fantastic. So I decided to try the super glue version of this, and it works fantastic as well. So as you can see here, I got a tight center piece, and already it's already glued down. So pull it stretch it and it, it's not going anywhere <laughs> but this is it guys this is the bow and if you were to go ahead and put it onto an alligator clip um, I do have video showing you guys how to do that but it's the same process you're just gonna go ahead and use a clip instead I think I, did I put that upside down no I did not it was just folded upside down but that is it guys so if you have any questions comments I'm sorry this video has ended up being like 25 minutes long I thought it was only gonna be like 10 or 15 minutes but Nothing's cooperating with me today, as you can see, so it was a little bit longer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you need help with anything else. I'm sorry it took so long to make this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody.